Well, it's about 1.30. 84 degrees. 84 degrees, I say. Well, the rain will blow this afternoon. Tides low about 6. My buddy from New York, Gary, is in town. Gigmaster's coming over. We're going to go uh, east of ways, down by the Mexican, Great Matter City. Go for a spin, see how it does. We had thought about going across the river to the news and hunt for some bullets, but I think the uh, weather has uh, changed that for us. We'll see how it goes. We're going to go down here and maybe find some gray matter and some, some yellow metal, maybe. Stand by. Well, a fella brought me a block of Hinkles this morning. Six knives and a pair of scissors. I just did some knives a few minutes ago for a lady this morning. I dropped them off. I still got ten, no, eight more pocket knives to do out of the fifteen. I got another knife that came in while I was gone. Chef's knife, Mercer. There's no shortage of knives. My Indians are taking it easy. I had to cut the grass today for the first time. The weedy part of the grass. And the fig tree is looking fantastic. Look at it. I actually got these canters. I'll show them to you. He's going to get them cut off tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Wednesday. I want his lips there. You can't see them. They're very little. But there's one right there. A big fat one. Get your beak out of the way. See it? Yeah. Big old jack. I hope that's not too bad. They're just coming out. Look at that little fig right there. That's too early for figs. I don't know what's going wrong with that. Okay. I gotta get my Bermudas on, my flip flops. We'll see how it goes. Well, Gary's here and the gig's here, and Gary's bearing gifts. Homemade cookies. <laughs> Can't beat that. Chocolate, Chocolate chip, chip cookies. cookies. You better get you, get you some light gear on. You're going to be hot in a few minutes. Well, this is what I brought down. What do you say, Grave Digger? <laughs> hey, hey, Captain Gig. we got Gary from New York coming down here to hunt the beef with us. Yeah, the, the Yankees sneaked across the border. The Yankees are here. Now these I are all your rings you found up there. Yep. Dry found. sand. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Dry sand. Wait, where'd you find them at? Dry, uh, beaches up in Long Island. Long Island, New York, gold and silver we right there. We better move north, have you, Gig? I'm telling you, I like it. Yeah, damn. We gotta find some gold right in here. Here we Klondike. go. Klondike. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. This year was a very good year for me. I found three precious metal rings. I found this ring, this ring, and then this is platinum. Platinum, man, that is a fancy ticket right there. That is heavy too. You can tell it's platinum when you pick it up. There ain't yep. no question about it's it. A, it's a real ruby. Yeah, it would be a platinum, you would think. That's a nice ticket right there. Man, yep. it is heavy. God. That's what I like about platinum. It's this, heavy. This is 18 carat. Yeah, it looks pretty dark. And it's a it's a French company who makes it. And the diamonds move around in there. Yeah, Look at they're that. called floating diamonds. Huh. It's more like 750 on when the When I was inside. a crapshooter in Atlantic City mm. and in uh, Las Vegas, I ran across a guy and his wife, and they had rings similar to this, but they had little glass houses built on their rings, and they had diamonds inside, and they right. would shake them like this with the dice and throw them down the so, table. <laughs> you know, like with, it, with this company this company here, this French company, their trademark is, besides having these diamonds here, they always put a small diamond chip right by their name. Oh, inside there. So inside oh, yeah, it. I can see it in there. Damn. So this has four diamonds, that ring. Yeah. That's 18 karat gold. A little diamond right inside that. I don't know if y'all can. Y'all might be able to see a picture of it. That's pretty cool. So right you there. find that interesting. I found that last July. Damn. Your wife probably liked that when you got home. Well, we're putting our stuff on. The gig master, this is 26th Street where I always park. Yeah. The gig master's gone down to 14th there about a pier. He's going to work this way and we're going to work towards him. See how we make out in the middle. About a pier. We're going to meet somewhere about a pier. And I got the Patriot headphones. And Gary's got his whites. What's the eye? 
what is it? V three I. V C I. V Victor. Victor, Victor V C I. That's a Victor color one, isn't it? Three Indian. Yeah, and it's scoop. One time or two, yeah. This is my first spin for the land of Nala. I see the horse rental business is good today. 84 degrees, people are out riding them horses. At 40, 50 bucks an hour. Nice horses. A doggo. There he is right there. A doggo. Got a nice low tide. It ain't low till about uh, three hours, I think. I like it. Stand by. Sounds scratchy to me. It wasn't very deep. Whatever, it must be a little it crap. That's, oh, I see it. I don't know how we missed it. Cruddy Penny, first ticket. Car. 14. Crapo. The best of it is eight. Jumping. Made a little piece of junk. I don't see a damn thing. Crap, copper. That's the one thing the Equinox loves is that little piece of crap copper down here.
a lot of people in the water. It's very warm though. My feet are just now getting used to it. Been here 10 minutes. Dive in there. Get some water on your back. Cool. Take it. I dug a bottle cap a minute ago. First bottle cap for the year. This might be the second one. This is 11. Reads a whole lot better out of this water. Well, I know it's not a bottle cap. Some kind of teeny little piece of crap, I guess. can't even see it. I imagine it's a little piece of copper. So I ain't going any further with it. The hell with it. See all that sand piled up right there? That's the only place on the beach there's any sand piled up like that. I think that's in preparation for the uh, something in the water event. It's called something in the water. A fella uh, Parnell Williams, that musician, he's putting on a great big event here. The last weekend in April, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Something in the water is called. We've got musicians, famous musicians, everybody. Sold out right now. Hotel rooms went from a couple hundred dollars to a thousand to two thousand dollars a night. It's going to be quite the thing here in Virginia Beach for three days. Quite the thing. I'm sure you'll hear about it on the news. If you haven't already heard about it, we'll see how it goes. Three days. Something in the water. All the rooms are sold out. All events sold out. We'll have to wait and see. Coming up from the pier. See how he's making out in a minute. And some candy. How you making out, Steve? Damn, I need two nitroglycerin pills. I got nothing. Three pennies of aluminum, one bottle cap. I got maybe a dozen pennies, a quarter, and an earring. Man, a quarter, I'd go crazy. <laughs> I know. I just got that right back there. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pitiful, isn't it? Yeah. You want Klondike? Yeah. Gary's it, up in the dry sand. Yeah, I, I think it's junk. It's, uh, I didn't see Gary. I knew where he was at. He's behind me a ways. I think that's, that's junk. I, I like that junk. coal. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm going to have to. Is it very heavy? Pretty loud, but shaky a little bit.
another one of those one we leave. That could be it right there. See it? Little piece of waste my time copper. Sound like the Empire State Building. To me. Make that crap with a big C. Crap. Not one, not two, but five. Maybe ten. Yeah, I think ten. Yep. At least. I could be mistaken. Uh oh. Target. Junk target. I'm going to turn around right here. We're at the pier now. There's the Boardwalk Hotel. beach advice for those you don't know it when you get through with your water bottle put the top on kind of loose then you mash the bottle up like a, like a accordion put the top on real tight it stays just like that put it in your pouch don't take up any room off we go we're going northbound now meet up with the gig master and mr Taking out. And I get a good glimpse of this number 10 nitro. <laughs> oh me. Yeah, we'll see how Gary's making out. I'm gonna call you the Lone Ranger. You know why? No. With this, with the cloud of dust and a high ho silver, man, you walk fast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how you making that? I got a couple pennies and uh, I got two some nickels, copper and I got, some aluminum. I got two nickels and a um, penny. You see Steve? Yeah, he's uh, he's over there. He got a quarter. He said. Yeah, he got two of them. Stuff I'm finding is or cheap. Yeah. Because they've been, uh, they've been in the ground a while too. You can tell. Look at the discoloration yeah. on the oh, nipples. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So they've been in the ground for it. And then this is a, looks like a zinc and a stinking zinc and. Yeah, I got some like that too. Yeah, I found a like a two foot section of a pen. They, they, they put out a winter fence down here along the beaches. Hey, let me go, man. Let me go. I can't got two more pieces of copper. I got another quarter, a dime, more pennies. You got the best of it. You what? My boots leak again. I got old one. See it slip. My pack got came off. There you go. A dog go. Like crap to me. It looks like junk to me. I got some of that. Oh well. I got the other piece of it. <laughs> got it. Yeah, it did. It's junk free. 
one is free. seen one flex like that. Right. Let's see if we've seen him like that. You know what I think it is? Off of a bottle top or something. Really. I don't think it's gold. It's cool looking though. Now you know gold. It was excited for a minute, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, got a heart racing. Pretty cool that uh, I got you digging it too. I wish it would have been a gold. I ain't never found nothing I can tell you one thing, it ain't that goddamn warm. Excuse my French. That's the first high number we had today. I got it, but I don't know what the hell it is. Not a coin. I'll wash it off so we can see it. Oh, it's a Corona. Flattened out Corona, look at that. That's why it's reading funny. That water so cold it'll take your breath away. I don't know how they can stand it out there. Unbelievable. There goes another hardy soul. They'd be back. He'd need an iron lung and get his breath back in a minute. That's what I think he get you. Breath back fast, iron lung. <laughs> Johnny Weissmeller. Hey, they haven't even hooked the water up yet. Here it is, the middle of first week in April, no water. That's ridiculous. That's a no leer nut right there. No leers will fly for that nut. What do you think? Look at that little crap. Like a, like a regular old cat. So what we did is, uh, what are you doing, Boo Boo? I, to, I told uh, the ah, puppy that, that that's her first vacation. We yeah. made it out of her hair for a couple of hours. Look at that. Look at that old Boo Boo. That's, that's nice. That, 
Yeah, he's a wild furrow cat. You would never know it, would you? He's a big boo boo. He don't like that. Boy, look at him. Come here. Come here, boo boo. I've eaten about half of them already. Uh oh. He's getting mad now. Look at him. He wants to swatch you. Yes, he does. You have to get away from him. Time in it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold your pants on. I got the thing right here. Yes, I have it right here. Oh, circus train. You're circus train dog. Circus train. <laughs> Every day since I had him, if it ain't raining or blowing, we play ball. Look at all these tennis balls. That's all my whole yard is. Every day. Man's best friend. I don't know what I'm going to ever do when he's gone. I got an Indian to keep up. I'm coming, Big old Jack. I know you can't see it, but we're having a big, big storm right now. Lightning, thunder, all kinds of weather watches going on. Right in like brickbat. Look at that. Ooh, baby.